we're going to put this thing to bed. As you know, I got this recently from my uh, subscriber friend, Alessandro from Whitestone, Queens, New York City. He gave it to me uh, as a contribution to the channel and uh, he says it runs. It's an auto choke quantum, simple craftsman push mower in pretty good shape with a high wheel and a bagger. The only thing that was broken from it that he told me and what it seems like is that the um, brake cable is dusty. Right here, the little, uh, the stem that sticks out of here is busted. So it won't go into this hole. So when you try to engage it, it moves up and down and it won't disengage the brake. So what could I do? I didn't have one long enough to fit this, so I bought one. <gasps> Henry bought something? Uh, it was like uh, nine bucks or something. And it should be long enough to fit. <laughs> That's what she said. Anyway, here we go nine bucks on a push mower. Can you believe that? And you know, I got it on eBay. It's a Stens replacement product. It's uh, 290-711. <laughs> Freedom's waiting for you. I just hope this is long enough. That's what she said. <clears throat> So if this is over here, yep, it's more than long enough. Uh, it's a little too long, actually, but we'll get it to work. Hello, come on. Henry, you need pliers. No, I've done it before without pliers. Maybe you need it for this one. No, I've done it before without it. Oh crap, maybe I need pliers. Ouch! Oh, you know. oh, out! There we go. See, I told you I didn't need pliers. All right, I'm just gonna do it real time. I'm not gonna cut anything because it's so easy. I just jinxed it. Simple three second uh, job is gonna take an hour. There we go, look. There we go, check it out. Should we just go ahead and pull it here? No edits? I don't think they have any gas in it, but it's an auto choke. Let's see. One. Wipe it down, give it that glistening look, and then just <laughs> park it on my lawn and take some pictures and list it. Uh, One fifty? Take as low as a hundred. Save it for next spring. Get get one fifty for it for sure. You know, we'll see.
So I shined it up just a little bit, just a quick wipe down. Took pictures of it. Uh, what did you? What else did you guys notice when I first started it up? That's right. I thought the RPM was a little high. Right? Do you not feel that? It's a little high. Show you how to adjust it super easy and quick. I'm gonna take this cover off so that we could see. And actually, this filter is okay, but could use a little whacking like this just to get the debris out of here. You know what I mean? That helps the uh, airflow. It's okay. It works. Oh, well, that didn't really help. Because I need access to this area right there. But you know what? I'm going to try to do it without... Got to remove this top thing real quick so I have access to this stuff right here. Right, I'm going to start it up. I'm going to put a clamp on here and then lower the RPMs. We have no gasage. Put in some gas. And you know what? Um, I'm gonna test this out later. I'm gonna mold my rear lawn with it. So I'm putting quite a bit of gasage in here. Let's try to start this baby up again. This is rare because this uh, fresh start gas cap is actually one that is not broken. Usually it's always broken. Oh, my clamp keeps coming off. Don't you hate it when your clamp comes off? I have to get a new clamp. Probably wasn't the gas in the first place. Sounds much better. Before it was just too high. I got this uh, tachometer meter. Um, I think I got it from Roger McDonald. Uh, forgive me if I got the person wrong. You know, I have a group of guys that send me stuff all the time, and I, I haven't used this ever uh, in my life. When I got it, I, I never had the use for it. You know. Uh, until, you know, now I figured, hey, let's give it a try. You know, I've never used it before. I don't even really know what to do with it, to be honest with you. But I think uh, I've seen a couple of videos where you just attach it, you coil the, this wire here, you just wrap it around the ignition coil wire, and then it's supposed to gauge exactly how much RPM it's running at. So it should be like 3,200, I think, you know? If it's more than that, it's too high. But you know, if you've done this enough, you can hear what's normal and what isn't, you know? I sort of figured it out. Uh, it has a lot of settings to it. So I got it on zero. 
does total I, I don't know but uh, from what I could see you just take this cord and you just wrap it around just wrap it around the uh, coil I'll give it a try So it uh, shows about 2,900 RPM. <laughs> I thought it might be higher, but uh, this is the sound that you want. You know, I guess for this engine, 2,900 is about right. Uh, so that's good. That, that's all I need. Um, thank you to Roger McDonald for sending this to me. Um, I mean, I don't think I would ever really use this so much because I could just listen for it, you know what I mean? Unless you need to ha absolutely have it dead on you know what i mean but being a flipper and stuff i'm not a mechanic if i was a mechanic and i had to do everything by the book according to specs at a shop where you know they offer maybe a warranty or something like that i would have to do it to exactly what it's supposed to be you know but i'm not working for anybody you know and i'm just a flipper i get it running the rpm's about right it'll work <laughs> that's all i care about really so i'm gonna put this stuff back again I'm gonna check the oil real quick, and it's clean. I mean, it looks like a pretty good mower, you know what I mean? Runs very well. Um, you know what else I'm gonna do? <clears throat> this bothers me, how this sticker, you, you'd see it on a lot of it, you know, a lot of uh, mowers. The sticker is like off. So I have some uh, adhesive spray that I could use. I'm going to wipe it clean on the inside, let it dry in the sun a little bit, and I have some adhesive spray that I could just spray on here and put a heavy bag of sand or something like that to hold it down or some tape or something, and that way it'll just keep it down like that. So it looks, you know, acceptable, you know? Um, so with mowers, great, easy fix. Uh, thank you very much to Alessandro for giving it to me. For first of all, thinking of me and giving it to me. Because he didn't have to. He could have he fixed it himself and sold it, you know what I mean? Could have. But uh, he wanted to contribute to the channel, which I really appreciate. Maybe he just doesn't have the time for it, I understand. A lot of people don't have time. They have, like, real jobs. But this is my job, <laughs> or hobby. I've got this 3M Super 77 multi-purpose adhesive. Just gonna spray a little bit. That's too much, but whatever. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna fold this piece of uh, thing here. And just put it like that. That on there with that. Henry, that's gonna stick to the machine. Maybe. Maybe not. So there you go. Um, there's nothing to it. Changed the cable, did that, wiped it down, took some pictures, good to go. Thing runs really well, man. Um, oil's right on the full mark. Runs just fine. Some of you guys have asked, "Hey Henry, you don't? How come you don't have your dog in the uh, videos much?" Obi, say hello to everybody. Yeah, that's right. You tell them. Um, Boba doesn't like uh, Amazon trucks, FedEx, UPS. Doesn't like. Doesn't like boxes, nor people that deliver the boxes. Right?
Anyway, um, I'm, my backyard needs mowing, and I was gonna use my lawn tractor to do it, but I kinda wanna test this. Let's go in the backyard. So that's it. How to fix a brake cable for nine dollars in nine minutes and use it to mow your lawn. <laughs> so I've got like uh, four mowers that are ready to sell. Probably won't sell any for the remainder of this year, but I'll have four to sell for next spring. That other one over there that's covered is just a Toro parts one. Um, if I got desperate, I could sell that one, but I'm not going to be that desperate, I'm sure. So uh, pretty good, only have four to carry over to the next spring. Last year I had about 20, 25 mowers to sell uh, that I had to store for the winter, which sucked, you know? So I'm very happy that this year, while I didn't sell as much as I did last year or the year before that, um, it was still a very good year in terms of selling, you know? But uh, most importantly, it was the content on how to fix them. That was the most important and that's the primary purpose of the channel, you know? But uh, thanks a lot for joining me on this simple fix. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Mowers and Blowers! Hey! I'm Andy from Jericho. See, See you guys, guys next, next time, time on Mowers and Blowers! Hey! If you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.